Okay, let me get right into this. Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the official Bianca Media. I'm here to inform, inspire, and entertain. Thank you all so much. So many of you all have been emailing me, messaging me here on some of my old videos, even finding me on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram, the official Bianca Media. It's the same thing. Um, and I think it may be in the same picture. So when you see me, you'll be like, oh, there she is. Click follow. Uh, so many of you all have been messaging me about where you at, girl? Where you been? Uh, what's going on? I have not posted a video in almost like 10 months um, back when I was in Virginia. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have moved. I have moved to the other coast, almost. It's because I got a new job, so I am working in Nevada. Not Nevada, which everyone calls it. It's called Nevada. Nevada. Do you get that? <laughs> okay, do you know what's the difference? Trust me, people here will curse you out like you stole their firstborn if you don't pronounce it correctly. So it's Nevada, not Nevada, y'all. Um, but yeah, so I'm living here in Las Vegas, new opportunities, um, meeting lots of new people. But yeah, I moved across the country. Shout out to my parents who helped me move across the country. Um, it was a lot, but we got, we made a couple of stops. So we stopped in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, we stopped, where else? Um, did we stop in Arkansas? Yeah, we stopped in Little Rock, Arkansas. And you know, it's one of those things where you're not gonna do that again. I don't plan on it. I, when I move from here back east in the future sometime, I, I'm gonna fly, all right? It, that, that drive is a lot. Um, and I mean, making it with my parents was great because we just got to spend a lot of time together because being out here in Las Vegas, I don't really have family. No, I didn't know too many people when I moved here. So it was good to really get that time with them much history across our country that if you get the chance to drive across the country at least one time I would say do it you're not gonna do it again so pretty interesting stuff moving across the country and then stopping at the Grand Canyon that was actually my second time we had been before when I was in college my family we came out to Las Vegas for a family trip it was before I was 21 so I couldn't really like enjoy it enjoy it but when um so we got to go to the Grand Canyon then. And so then we came this time and it was a brief trip, but we still got to stop and, and take some pictures and see the Grand Canyon. We didn't stop at the Hoover Dam because we had done it before and I was just trying to get here and get out of the car. Um, career wise, I am really appreciating where I'm at. You know, sometimes you, you're like, why do I have to go through this? Or why do I have to learn this? Or why do I have to do this the hard way, hard way? Um, at first and at my station in, in, in Virginia and I was an MMJ, what they call a multimedia journalist. That means you do everything. You shoot, you edit, you write, you do it all. You do your web story, you do it all. But now I can appreciate that because I have a photographer, somebody that's with me. We're in a two person team, a duo team and they shoot it all. They really get to focus in on the camera and the craft of really setting up shots and I get to really dive into the story and worry about social media, worry about the booking the story and the contacts and getting all those elements so you can do more of the producing of the story rather than worrying about like the technical aspect of getting the camera and the lighting and carrying the equipment and all that kind of stuff you know you have somebody to share that load with essentially and they also help edit so I really appreciate that um I have more opportunities to anchor on the show. Um, I actually work on the weekend, so I do have my own show that I get to anchor, and then throughout the week I'm reporting and stuff like that. I am gonna do a day in my life, so I will be posting that coming up. So be on the lookout for that video. Some more content coming to you guys. I won't leave you for so long next time. Uh, but you know, I just, I just had to get settled. And also I wasn't feeling very inspired. You know, sometimes like when, you know, so one thing is taking all your attention, you have to kind of put some things to, decide for a moment while you get into your routine. You know what I'm saying? Cause I never want to put out like halfway good material or kind of BS stuff with you all. You know what I'm saying? So I really want to dedicate this time and like be consistent. So I really have to take, take a minute. Um, so thank you all for being so understanding with that. So that's my quick update. Be on the lookout for more videos coming. We in this baby, it's 2020. Can you believe it? It is 2020. January was a crazy month, y'all. We is, oh my goodness. January started off like, ah. Have you seen that meme? The, the meme with SpongeBob where he's like, ah. That's how 2020 started off, didn't it? Ooh, baby, but you know, 
have something that's gonna keep you inspired, that's gonna keep you level-headed because this world is gonna throw a whole lot of stuff at you. And you have to continue to keep your eye on the prize, stay focused, um, and we gonna make it. We gonna make it, just keep going. Every day you get up and come open up your eyes and put your two feet on the ground, or even open up your eyes, you better be thankful because, you know, again, we've learned that every day is not promised. So I hope this uh, is a nice overview update. Um, more videos coming, so stay tuned. If you already, if you haven't already, you've made it this far. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what are some of your 2020 goals. I got mine. We're going to do a video on that too, y'all. Uh, yeah, a lot's coming. But I love you all so much. Thank you for joining the family. Following. Follow me on IG, the official Bianca Media. And that's all for the update, y'all. Bye.